We're not just lumping the entire cluster in Brisbane or in Sydney or Perth or Melbourne. We are going to continually scale and continually bring this computing power closer and closer to the users. So latency is the time that it takes for you to get to the server that you're playing or the person that you're playing on a peer-to-peer -peer game and back again. So the main factor in latency is the distance. The traffic, even though it eventually gets into fibre optics, um, that fibre optics has to go across countries or across states or across a city and that distance will actually affect the time that it takes for that traffic to get from point A to point B. What's actually happening when you're playing on cloud gaming, the, the computer that you're running to play the game on is in the cloud already. Traditionally, when you're playing a game, you'll have your computer, and then that computer is then you know, sending that signal or the, you know, the transmitting the, the data from the game that you're playing across your last mile connection to the exchange, and then that exchange is then connecting across the country or across the state or city to where the server is located. What's actually happening in cloud gaming is your computer is no longer needing that last mile connectivity. The computer that you're running the game on is actually already in the data center. And the connection that you have from your home to that data center, that controls the actual user experience that you have. So, you know, when you hit a key, you know, is there any delay or any latency or lag from when that computer reacts? Yeah, there, there's like a lot of concern around the level of input lag will be too high, but it just, it actually simply won't be the case. Because we're going to bring the GeForce Now and the, the processing power to you know, eventually all the capital cities, you'll be within a few milliseconds of the actual server, which is just mildly more than like you're already dealing with. Now I know people have different internet connections, but even across, you know, 90% of them, and that's what we intend to test with the beta, beta testing, the latency will still be low enough to be able to you know, like play on cloud gaming. What the user would actually see when they're gaming is like, say they're used to playing a game like Fortnite and they're used to seeing a latency or a ping of 40 milliseconds, that 40 milliseconds that they're used to playing on, that incorporates the last mile connection that they actually have to the data center as well. So that incorporates like their, their internet access that they're on. What the user experience will be when playing cloud gaming, that latency won't be there. There won't be any last mile latency because the game is actually being run within the data center. The latency between the data center and them will affect their input delay, but the amount of milliseconds will be on one hand it, it will not be noticeable. I think the human brain is, still takes 15 milliseconds to respond to things. I can confidently say cloud gaming improves latency. When you're playing cloud gaming online, like your latency will actually be lower because the game that you're playing is actually running directly from the data center. And then the user experience will continually get better as we improve and as we continually scale. That's what we need help doing. Like we need help and guidance with the user experience and help and guidance for, you know, where are people, what, what connection are you using. Feedback that information to us like through, through the portal, um, which will help better guide where we need to build and input output feedback with us as the, the GeForce Now supplier as to how we can improve the service. Cloud gaming is, it is the future and it's a very convenient form of gaming. Like we're all super passionate about it and we've seen it, we've, we've felt it and played with it. It is absolutely like, amazing technology uh, but again we need to all work together to be able to to bring the technology to Australia.